Hey guys, this is Sam here and welcome to TechMan. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the advanced uh, understand tips and tricks and some of the hidden features for understand. Uh, so actually, this is the part two video for the whole, uh, you know, tips and tricks thing. And uh, you can watch the part one video just by clicking on annotation here or uh, just, uh, going into the description below. And so these are the things that I discussed on the part one video. You can just uh, look on it and uh, you just watch that video. So yeah, and so uh, without further ado, let's begin. So as you can see, the start menu is like this. I mean not like this by default I changed those things uh, yeah you can do whatever you want with the start screen just like you can just resize them to, to a smaller size just like that you can make them uh, wide or large oh, hold on a minute uh, there we go so you can make them wide like this or you can make them uh, if you have the option large just like that and um, and you can also, of course, um, turn lifestyle off just like that. As you can see, the store uh, I'm getting this, uh, these you know, animations, and you can just turn them off, and it will just show me the normal store icon. And yeah, stuff like that. And you can also uninstall them and pin to taskbar on print from the start, and uh, you can just arrange them like this. Uh, I did the arranging just like. Uh, this is our logo and um, you can do something like this and just use your imagination do whatever you want you can also change the you know sections name this this is a section as you can see just you can just type on the on this um, you know name group click on it and you can just uh, click on it I mean name it um, let's just name this group uh, something like um, group one something like that and um, uh, you can also move those groups by just clicking here uh, like this you can just move the whole group like that hold on I'm gonna show you and there we go see that you can move those groups like that and you can just do that there we go all right so that's the stuff and uh, you can also get any app you want from here and then pin them to the start or you can see these uh, sorry about that so whenever you open uh, all applications you can see those uh, numbers or letters right here above the applications you can click uh, any one of them uh, just like this and you, you get this uh, you know menu you can choose whatever letter or number you want and uh, uh, just like uh, well, I want uh, Microsoft Office just click on it and um, there we go Microsoft Office uh, you can find your stuff like that it's easy you can also just click on start and just start searching Xbox yeah it's fast it's good um, works nice and one more thing as you can see, there are some options over here, settings, power, all apps, file explorer. You can also add your favorite um, um, folders uh, here too. Just go into the settings and personalize them, start, and you can see this, um, choose which folders appear and start. Just click on it, and you can see your folders. Click anything you want, documents, downloads, music, pictures videos home group and stuff and let's just say I want videos and um, enable it and you can see the videos folder is here and just click on it and the videos folder is now here and you can also just go back there if you don't want those folders to appear on the start and just disable them just like that and of course you can just make it taller um, you know smaller and stuff you already know and uh, yeah that's the stuff about start 
Alright guys, so as you already know, you can take your screenshots by just, um, uh, you know, there's a shortcut for Windows. Uh, press Start key, uh, press and hold Start key, then press uh, Print Screen button and then uh, you can get the screenshot immediately, just like this. See that? Uh, you can take a screenshot just like that. Or you can use the, um, there's a feature, um, I mean there's an application for snipping tool from Windows itself and you can use this tool also to take screenshots or uh, take a picture of um, you know your work whatever you're doing on the on the screen something like that and uh, it's the same thing I mean uh, just like that just like the shortcut screenshot but uh, now we have a delay option here and so you can you know take some time uh, before uh, getting a shot of your uh, of your desktop and let's just say if I want uh, three seconds before a screenshot I just press three and click on new and it's gonna wait for three seconds before there we go as you can as you saw that it waited three seconds then snaps a picture and you can also do whatever you want just like this and um, uh, just like that, you can just take your screenshots just like that. No, I don't want to save this right now. All right, so that's how you can take uh, some, you know, timed screenshots and stuff. So yeah. So as you know, um, they announced that Windows 10 will be able to uh, copy paste on command prompt. So that that's a cool feature so as you can see on the command prompt if I just try to make a comment something like this is, um, yeah. now no, no as you can see here I can't select it or control A to select all no I can't select it right now or use control V control C or whatever I can do it right now uh, because uh, by default it's not enabled but the option is still there you just need to go to right uh, go to properties just right click on your taskbar then go to properties and you can see this use legacy consoles uh, console uh, use legacy console you just need to uh, uncheck this uh, you know area and um, after that you can see some of these options if it's not enabled already just uh, click on it and enable it to clipboard contents on paste and stuff you can do whatever you want enable line wrapping selection and yeah, do that okay so uh, as you can see you can do uh, check or uncheck uh, whatever setting you want and then just press okay so after that you can just click so like that you need to restart Now I can use Control A to go. I mean, copy all, and then copy and then paste something like that. And now you can uh, use your copy paste things right here. And also, there's also some options for full screen. Uh, you can just go use the maximize button here to go to full screen, or you can also press F11 for total full screen. There we go. And also, there's another thing that's uh, transparency it's built in into the command prompt uh, window just go to the properties colors you see the opacity here just uh, do whatever opacity you want let's just say 60 percent whatever and so as you can see the this is a bit uh, transparent as you can see and you can anything more or whatever and yeah stuff like that so it doesn't work like that. Okay. Now you can do um, transparent and stuff just like that. Let's change it back. And also, you have the options for uh, you know uh, screen background color, screen text color, pop up text, pop up background color. You can change whatever you want. So yeah, that's some of the tips for command prompt. So um, Cortana, Cortana is an awesome uh, personal assistant for
for uh, Windows 10 right now. So, but there's another option to call Cortana uh, from anywhere you want. Just you need to just say "Hey Cortana," and so it's gonna pop up. And uh, so, but it's not uh, enabled by default. You need to go to the Cortana and click on this settings option or whatever. You can see the notebook. Click on it. Then go to settings. So as you can see, Hey Cortana is listed here. Let Cortana respond to Hey Cortana, and you can turn it on, off, whatever. And also you can uh, choose uh, respond based to anyone or to me. Um, if you don't want someone else to, you know, talk with Cortana, and uh, you can just uh, let Cortana learn your voice, and she will respond to you only. Um, I don't know why it's responding to me right now. Hold on a minute. Hey, Cortana. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Cortana. Tell me a joke. I'd tell a chemistry joke, but I'm afraid I wouldn't get a reaction. Well, I don't know what happened here. But still, that was a joke. Okay, so that's how it's going to work and stuff like that. So, yeah. So the new Accent Center is quite, you know, good looking, feels good, awesome, stuff like that. So uh, as you can see, there are some accents uh, by default here, tablet mode, connect, note, all settings, virtual private network, quiet hours and stuff. So now uh, uh, this is a desktop uh, PC, so I don't need tablet mode. So I can just, uh, you know, change the tablet mode to something else. Uh, how do you do that? Just go to all settings, then system. Then, um, in the system, you need to go to notification and increase accents. And as you can see, choose your quick accents. You can see right here. You can choose whatever accent you want, just like that. Location, node, VPN, or whatever. And it will change here. Uh, let me do that. Now, you see, the node is right here, right now. And, um, yeah, you can do stuff like that. Uh, let me change that back. And I like that. And there we go. Now it's changed. Select which icons appear on this taskbar. So you can also use this to, uh, you know, uh, change these icons, whichever icon source of on taskbar. You can do like that. Let me show you. Uh, if I want Steam to appear, there we go. Steam is here, and you can also turn it off anytime you want later. And, uh, and also, there is the option of turn system icons on or off, as you can see right here. Now the power is not on because this is not laptop. This is system I mean, desktop, and uh, so you can see the clock is here. I can turn it off. There we go, gone. Eh? I can also turn it on. Volume, turn it off, turn it on. And stuff like that you can do just for, uh, right there. There we go. Microsoft Edge. So this new browser from Windows is just fantastic. Not like, you know, Internet Explorer. That's some serious thing. Well. Um, so by default, the favorite bar or your bookmark bar is not here, but you can enable it anytime you want by just clicking on here, then going to settings, and then you can just click on it, and uh, it will show your favorite bar right here. Uh, this this bar it's not showing the default thing right now, but it will. Uh, now after that, uh, you can just um, uh, bookmark any uh, you know. Uh, website you want just like google.com here just click on it and you can see uh, you can name whatever you want and create in favorite bar of favorites I'm gonna create in favorites bar then click on it click on the art and there we go Google is here now I like favorites bar but I mean I don't use that much so I'm just gonna turn it off and um, yeah and you could also import favorites from another browser like Chrome and Firefox if you have it. 
hold on. And you can also open with start page, new tab page, previous page, uh, specific page or pages. This, uh, you know, uh, is when you open in uh, Microsoft A's. It will open either either your start page, either your new tab page, previous pages, or specific pages. So, a page of pages, just like this. I'm going to stick to the start page. Now, open new tabs with. Um, you can see, you can change it to top side to blank page, top size and suggested con uh, content and stuff. And now, also you can clear browsing data. And uh, there are some other stuff too. Now. Uh, if you want home button right here, you, just, uh, you can just go to advanced settings and you can click on the so home button like this and you can choose uh, the link, whatever link you want. Let's just say I want google.com and save it and it will open google.com of course. My internet is a bit down right now. There we go. Now, by default, the main search engine for Microsoft is is Bing.com. Now, when I search for anything, it's gonna search with Bing.com, obviously. Uh, now, if you if you don't want Bing.com, if you want Google.com to be your uh, default search engine, you can just change that by just going into the advanced settings and going to the Add New. But before going into the add new, you need to open google.com first uh, so that Microsoft is can learn about the search engine. And then after visiting, go to the advanced settings, then again add new. After visiting the search engine, it's going to show up Google search right here. Now, uh, if you want some any other search engine to be a preferred, uh, you know search engine or default search engine you can again search um, any, any search engine you want like yahoo.com or any other search engine you want and then just click on it and add as default and there we go now whenever I type something boom it's google.co.in that's how we do it people no not right now and also change it back to Bing if you want anytime. Just like that. And that's done. So that's how we do it. So this is another uh, small tip for quick access. Now as you can see by default uh, there are some um, you know uh, folders already on the quick access frequent folders list. You can also uh, you know if you want some uh, any other uh, folder to be pinned here you can just pin it by just clicking on the right clicking on the folder and then clicking on pin to get quick access now as you can see it's right here I just pinned music and music folder is right here so you can do stuff like that and uh, yeah that's just a small tip mail uh, is quite amazing uh, for your you know emails and stuff now uh, by default in Windows 10 you won't get a uh, you know, pop-up uh, sound or notification uh, whenever you get a new mail of course you will get um, your you know new mail notification in the action centers but it will not pop up it's just there you, you need to open it first to see if there is any uh, email now you can enable that feature because it's still in there in the mail just open the mail all right now you're here so just click on the uh, settings icon here now here you can see uh, stuff accounts background pictures and stuff go to options and then in the options go down here as you can see there uh, there are some options for show a notification banner and play a sound. You can tick them both to get the sound and show a uh, notification banner. But I don't need that uh, every time, so I can just uncheck them if you you know don't want. And so yeah, that's how you get the notification banner and play a sound. 
Uh, so here's another uh, small tip it's about the uh, wallpapers Windows 10 has. You know, you know the default wallpapers, just like these. Um, the Windows Hero wallpaper. This is the you know, Hero wallpaper and stuff. So how to find these uh, photos? So by default, it's in C Windows and search for Web. There we go. There, there's every um, photo you need, and uh, there's the you know Hero uh, picture here. You can see right there. Every photo, and uh, so yeah, there's all the um, resolutions you want, including 4K, and also there are some different photos just like this. These stuff, and some other pictures, photos, and stuff like that. Uh, this image is quite beautiful for uh, uh, if you have a you know two or three monitors stuff so yeah that's just a small tip so uh, by default Windows 10 has um, has Xbox as you know and uh, so with that uh, they gave us uh, recording software it's called game DVR and uh, so where's, where's the Xbox? there you go open it up Sorry. so here it is the uh, Xbox app and you see this option here this is game DVR Just click on and you can see you recorded videos um, and stuff right here and uh, you can also change the game DVR settings by just going in here and clicking this and you can see the open game bar with win Windows key plus G record record that start or stop recording test screen source and stuff you can change your uh, you can change the circuits to your own and uh, so yeah now if you have a game if you have a game to record and um, let's just say you can't actually record desktop you can uh, record Windows though let's say if I want to record Chrome just um, press, uh, press and hold start then click on G and it will give you the um, you know the game DVR um, option here I mean the this is the game DVR bar and uh, you move around like that you can also uh, just like this start recording from here or you can use the uh, shortcut Windows key alt and R to record and to stop and so say I'll record like this okay so that did not work it did not record Chrome but it uh, does work for some stuff um, yeah so you can also go again to the Xbox app okay so in the app you can see your videos right here you can also open the folder for any other video this actually worked for zero seconds I have a demo video for you guys here. Uh, it's the Batman Arkham Knight gameplay recorded through uh, using the uh, Xbox game control, I mean game DVR. So you see the recording was smooth. It's also working good. Just like that. Yeah. So yeah, that was smooth, recording was smooth, uh, it's, it's good. So hidden features in Windows 10, these are all based on, uh, you know, registry. You need to edit the registry for, uh, for it to work. So uh, uh, I recommend you to use caution. And uh, if you know what you're doing, then do it. Or otherwise, just um, you know, do it at your own risk. All right. So first of all, 
uh, this is the modern UI clock so you can see the clock is like this but if you want the default clock you know, you know just like the Windows 7 clock or Windows 8 clock you can change it back to the default clock just uh, go to um, just open run like that I, I mean you know by pressing holding pressing and holding start button and then pressing R uh, and also you can just uh, right click on the start and uh, click run and from there type reset it okay then yes then in there open local uh, it's key local machine then software and then Microsoft then um, hold on Okay, Microsoft then Windows then in Windows oh, oh hold on then in Windows go to current versions then in the current versions go to immersive cell hold on there we go immersive cell and click on the immersive cell and after clicking on sorry about that you can see these um, things right here and uh, just you just need to right click on here then create a new do 32 bit value and uh, rename it to use win 32 gray block experience oops sorry about that just made a mistake hit enter then double click on it and change the value to one click ok enter and boom there you go and you can also change that back to the you know uh, to the modern UI clock by just uh, deleting it and uh, boom there we go that's how we do it this hidden feature is a um, you know, is a hidden dark thing that is inside windows and you can enable it by going to register register editor then um, going to user I mean SQ current user then software then in the software go to Microsoft then in the Microsoft search for um, what is it uh, Windows hold on there we go Windows and in the Windows go to current versions and in the current version go to themes there you go themes and in the themes just uh, go to personalize in the personalize you need to just click on the personalize then right click here and create a new D word 32 bit value and name it apps use light theme then after that just click enter right click and make another D word 32 bit value rename it to system use light theme light theme and then boom we are done now let's go to the settings look there we go this is now dark dark and yeah you can also change the windows uh, microsoft is color and going into the settings and um, it's here somewhere I can oh, there we go choose a theme dark theme something like that this is how it does works stuff like that uh, this is about uh, getting back the you know old Windows um, XP style uh, task view thing or the you can say alt tab view thing just like this this is the alt tab view and if you don't like it you can just change this back to the you know old stuff now how to do that you just need to go to open I mean open registry editor then um, in the registry editor go to 
it's key current user and software and software go to Microsoft Microsoft go to Windows uh, from the Windows current version hold on current versions and in the current version we need to go to Explorer there we go so click on the Explorer I mean open up Explorer then in the Explorer create a new um, hold on. open the Explorer and right click here and create a new DO32 value and uh, name it to alt tab settings that's it then open it up change the value data to one then enter now after that just restart the system to see the uh, effects and um, I'm just going to delete that because I don't need that but it works so you can just restart your system and uh, have fun all right there's a there's a temporary uh, trick to get the alt tab view back uh, just for temporarily and uh, for that um, you need to do this trick so uh, as you know that there are two alt keys on a keyboard just uh, press uh, press and hold one of them uh, I'm pressing and holding the, the left alt key then after after pressing and holding uh, hold that and press the other alt key and release it then press tab to get the old um, Windows XP style uh, you know alt tab view just like this and leave everything and again you can get the uh, default one so yeah that's how it works now the log on screen of uh, Windows 10 has a has the default background this is the um, you know the uh, hero wallpaper and uh, you can change it to a solid color if you want um, just uh, go to the register editor then go to HK local machine then software sorry then policies where is policies policies there you go policies Microsoft and in the Microsoft you need to go to Windows then system there you go click on the system and create a new DWORD 32 with value name it disable background image disable log on background image then open it and change the value to one okay and that's done now you can um, just um, use the shortcut press and hold start and then press L now you see the background is solid so yeah that's how it works and you can also um, delete it anytime you want to get the default uh, wallpaper back delete it and let's go back let's see and there you go so that's how it works last but not least this is the uh, volume control uh, UI feature you can change the volume control uh, I mean now the volume control uh, is looks like this but if you want the old volume control UI you can get that by some doing some you know stuff in the registry editor go to register editor then open local machine then software go to Microsoft where it is there we go oh, what happened uh, okay Microsoft then go to Windows NT open it up then in Windows NT click on current version I mean open it up sorry then in here you need to create a new key 
uh, to create a new key, just right click on the current version, new key, name it MPC, new PC. Now, after, after that, just, um, click on it, make a new D word, put it with value here, and uh, name it enable. MPC Okay. And then just um, that's it. Just press enter and take those. So uh, old uh, you know all of UI. In anytime you can just delete it to get back the default volume UI. Just like that. Alright then. So that's it for now, uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to us down to watch new videos like this, like this video if you liked it, comment in the comment section about your questions and uh, suggestions for uh, stuff and uh, also you can uh, follow us on Twitter, visit our Facebook page, go to Google Plus and stuff and so again thanks for watching and have a nice day.